Welcome to Fable and Five, the City of Fable's news brief where we deliver all the latest news and events related to your city government, all within five minutes. I'm Guy Mac Roberts with the Corporate Communications Department with the City of Fable, and I thank you for joining us for today's episode. We are two cities, two countries, with one heart. The Fable City Council recently signed a resolution of support for the city's sister city, Saint of Old France. The resolution is in response to the recent terror attacks in Paris. St. Evold and Fable became sister cities in 1993 and have supported one another over the years. St. Evold is in the northeastern corner of France near the German border and is home to Europe's largest U.S. military cemetery. The Lorraine American Cemetery and Memorial is the final resting place for 10,489 American soldiers who died during World War II. The Fable Fire and Emergency Management Department recently held a recruitment workshop at the airport training facility. The workshop focused on helping potential candidates improve their performance during the testing phase and for the department to attract the best and brightest firefighting candidates to the Fable Fire and Emergency Management Department. Another workshop is planned before the next Fire Academy. For many uh, candidates, uh, applicants, they're volunteer firefighters or members of the fire service somewhere um, close to here or near here. And then, but for some, they have no experience, they have no idea of what to expect. So it gives us a chance to expose our procedures, um, our hiring processes, and, and like I said, give them an opportunity to become a part of a great organization. The Downtown Alliance unveiled six boxes in downtown Fable where citizens can donate money to local organizations who provide services to the homeless, such as meals, skills training, and shelter. The boxes are an initiative of the Downtown Alliance in cooperation with the City of Fable to provide an alternative for citizens who want to support the homeless without encouraging panhandling in the downtown area. The money collected from the boxes will go to a different organization every three months. The first charity to receive the donations will be Operation In As Much. We're kind of the retail collection point to help give people uh, a way to be involved in the solution and we'll make sure we distribute those funds amongst all the providers. The City of Fable's Planning and Code Enforcement Services Department is looking for public input on the existing conditions and master plan ideas for the future development of the Cape Fear River. During the event, planners explained the history of the river its current conditions and potential recreational uses. Citizens who were unable to make it to the meeting could still share their thoughts about future riverfront development by completing a brief nine question survey online. The survey can be found by visiting fablenc.gov and looking for the Cape Fear River Plan link in the Hot Topics section in the upper right hand corner of our main website page. Uh, we're serious about uh, ensuring that we have a safe season in our city the Fable Police Department kicked off the holiday shopping season with a press conference at Cross Creek Mall. During the conference, Chief Medlock was joined by representatives from local businesses to discuss the impact of organized retail crime on law enforcement, businesses, and our community. The Fable Police Department, in partnership with the Fable Regional Chamber and area retail merchants, hosted the media conference. During the press conference, the Fable Police Department launched a new campaign, Lock It or Lose It, to encourage citizens to help deter theft by locking up their vehicles and removing valuables from plain sight. With Thanksgiving here and Christmas just around the corner, there are a few events to help kick off the holiday season. The Dickens Holiday is celebrated in downtown Fayetteville on the Friday after Thanksgiving with characters from Dickens' A Christmas Carol roaming along Hay Street, followed by a candlelight procession leading down to the Market House. A Dickens Holiday is hosted by the Arts Council and the Downtown Alliance. Another popular event is the Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation Department's Christmas in the Park. Located in Arnett Park, people can come out and enjoy a leisurely stroll along a half-mile paved trail and take in the sights and sounds of the Christmas season. Christmas in the Park runs from December 4th through the 20th. Cost is $10 per family vehicle, $30 per commercial vehicle, and $75 per bus. If you'd like to learn more about Christmas in the Park and all the activities available during the event, visit FableNC.gov and click on the Christmas in the Park banner under the Around the Town section of our homepage. Well, this will wrap up this edition of Fable in 5. We look forward to providing you more news about the city of Fable in the weeks ahead. And as always, you can watch this and other videos at FayTV7.com. And if there's a topic or video segment you'd like to see on FayTV7, go to FableOutFront.com and share your feedback with us. I'm Gad Mac Roberts for FayTV7, and thank you for watching.